Merry Christmas, uh, our last newsletter of the year. And what a year. Uh, just go through a few of the bits from it. Um, I'm first of all, uh, a huge thank you for your support during this year. I've never known a time like it. Um, and, you know, we've had children who have been out of school for from March until September. We've had some that have been in all the way through there uh, and some who had the, uh, the, the time with us from June onwards. They have worked so well since September. Uh, we really did take it steady. We really have looked um, at making sure they get the whole curriculum, not just doing the English and the maths. Uh, we are using the grounds. We've extended the amount of PE that we uh, give them. Um, and they have done so well. They are shattered uh, and they have worked really hard. But I have to say from the work we've done, whether it be uh, Mr. Singleton uh, and myself looking at work or team leaders or working uh, as part of our pupil learning conferences, we're seeing really pre pleasing progress um, and some really high quality work. Um, so thank you what you did during lockdown. Uh, thank you so much for continuing to hear them read, for all the work you're doing in terms of their times tables. Um, it really is paying off and we really do uh, thank you. I know we moan at times, ask you to read with them more, um, but we're just so ambitious for your children. Um, I have to thank staff. Um, they have gone above and beyond in so many ways. And it's interesting when people talk about schools, whether you know in the press and things like that, it's synonymous with just all the teachers. More than 55% more than of our staff are not teachers. Um, and every single person has dug in during this year and worked so hard. You know, we've seen schools that have not been able to provide hot dinners. We provided hot dinners all the way through this term. Um, midday supervisors working amazingly to make sure that children have them still within their bubbles, uh, whether it be, and then the play at lunchtime and the, the kitchen team have had a job. Cleaners coming in um, on additional hours or changing shifts, making sure that when we've had the closures that rooms are deep cleaned. Uh, and, and teaching assistants covering in classes as teachers have been teaching from home uh, or covering classes at late notice uh, everyone has stepped up and teachers leading those classes have just been superb and on top of that we've also had uh, a new nursery team come in uh, set up a nursery and and if you have children there you'll know but um, oh it's just wonderful over there so lots and lots of uh, thanks to our staff it, it, it's um it's been stressful, but I'll be honest, it's a real privilege to be able to lead a team like this. It, makes, it does make it easier. We've had some really, really good news. Lincolnshire Health Protection Team have changed the, uh, the um, date settings in terms of reporting of, of COVID. So if uh, there is a positive test result between the end of school, um, which is a couple of hours away, and five o'clock on Sunday, uh, please do contact me. So that's either on the email address, which is covid at longsutton.links.sk.uk or telephoning 074-254-32852. Um, after that, it's the normal reporting um, systems. If I do get a call, uh, it does mean that I'm afraid that you may get a, a advice to isolate um, uh, in line with government guidance. A couple of other bits, some really lovely bits that you will get with the newsletter. You will get uh, details of our new reading challenge. Friends have supported that uh, and um, there's going to be some really good prizes, so go for it on that. You will have seen in recent newsletters that uh, Mrs Chapman very kindly, very courageously ran over 100 kilometres in November. That's raised a significant amount of money uh, for friends. Uh, we've also, through uh, Blakemore Foundation, uh, received some money. They have put some money towards, uh, again, we'll go into friends for a project we're working on, which I'll talk about in a moment. But also, um, that provided all the sweets for the children's party. So I must thank Mr and Mrs Harris who made that happen. I'm so grateful because the children have wonderful parties and of course um, they had a special visitor in a red suit. Uh, and thanks to friends uh, for supporting uh, our friend and making sure that everybody had something to uh, bring home. Yeah, we're going to spend the uh, money that's been raised uh, on 
add into what we call our spine document, which is something that runs all the way through the school, and it and it's the books that all children need to read or have read to them in each year group, and we're just adding to that stock. So that's absolutely brilliant. And then a couple of other things. St Mary's Church, there is a uh, Christmas service on Christmas Day at 10 o'clock. And then also you'll see uh, on the newsletter, lovely photo, all of our children um, posted, uh, uh, sorry, made some beautiful bauble designs and they are going to beam, be beamed onto St Mary's Church uh, from this afternoon at four o'clock. And then each evening, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and the photos are absolutely brilliant. And then last uh, bits, uh, school dinner orders, get them in by the 29th of December. Miss Manning will send you something through on that. And just sort of really bring you up to date. Um, November the 1st last year, we joined Keystone Trust. I know that there were, I mean, we had lots of consultation and lots of discussions. And we really pride ourselves really on the fact that it didn't feel any different. but. I just wanted to let you know that actually the, the support that we've received from Mrs. Radley uh, and uh, Mr. Pignatiello, the uh, chair of trust, um, at a central level, but also the other schools that we work with have, has been invaluable and, and that's helped us in our curriculum development. But also I have to say during all of the uh, decision making and risk assessment writing uh, for the pandemic, it's been absolutely fantastic. But on another side, they also come in and work with Mr. Singleton and myself, looking at subjects, looking at the work that's happened um, and we've had two reviews in the last couple of weeks which have been so positive they've seen the work that's happened particularly the work um, within our reading work um, which Mr Singleton and Mr Whitehead as the English lead have put so much into and the uh, head of learning and teaching for the trust came in the start of this week looking at our use of uh, guided reading stock with the, the new books that we've bought and a, a new teaching approach called Vipers and was so complimentary. And that also comes down to the work you're doing reading at home. So I just want to keep up to date with that. Uh, we will be back all together on Monday the 4th of January. At the moment, primaries will all be starting on that day and we know that things were announced yesterday for secondaries. We are expecting to be back to school on that day. So we shall see you there. Have a super Christmas uh, and let's hope that 2021 is a little bit calmer and quieter than 2020 and uh, we shall see you soon. Thank you.